What is up, everybody? It's Shane, the right hand grand picker, and welcome to another show. And uh, tonight, I'm going to show you how to ship some things out to Amazon FBA. There's a few things that people are asking, and um, you know what? It's awesome. They're asking, how do you ship sets of stuff? How do you ship things that contain more than one item uh, per SKU or per ASIN? And an ASIN is the barcode um, or the identifier on Amazon. And I'm going to show you that tonight, so stay tuned. Houston, we got a problem. But before I get into any of that, here's what I want to say, okay? I want to say a couple things real quick. In my last video, I went to Big Lots and people were coming, oh, you're slipping. Uh, it's not slipping. I'm stronger than ever. And let me tell you why. Some people might think that I am an a-hole or you know, I'm, I'm gloating. It's not gloating, right? I, I'm, I'm having you guys follow my journey. And But what I want to tell you is this, okay? This is my secret to everything. I see money everywhere. I can walk into Dollar Tree and I see money. I don't see items. I see money. And a lot of people don't think like that. And if you think different than most people, they all, always have a stigmatism about it. You know, I, I've gotten hate from other YouTube content creators. I've gotten hate from, you know, whatever else. And what I can say is I see money everywhere I go and I can't turn it off. I go to bed every night and I think of deals. What can I buy? And I get up every morning thinking the same exact thing. And from what I can tell you is if you want to be successful in this business, you have to think the same way. You have to train your brain to think like that, like an entrepreneur, like you walk into Walmart and if you pass or see something and it catches your eye, you look it up. I can walk into Dollar General and I just see money sitting everywhere. That's how you know you're cut out for this. That's how you know you're gonna succeed. You might make some money, but truly succeed. You gotta train your brain to think right. You gotta train your brain to think the right way. Let's get in to shipping all this crap to Amazon. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and how I do it. I just wanted to get that out there and put it out there. I know a lot of people have questions like how you find all this stuff and that's my answer. It's that simple trick. You have to train your brain to see money everywhere. So first off, the trick is to figure out the best way to pack something in a box that gives you the most room and you can fit the most in. Your FBA boxes can only be 50 pounds. So unfortunately with these mirrors, I can only fit six or five of them in one box. So I am going to probably end up doing like, I don't know, a ton of boxes because I can only fit five and I don't think they can be shipped any better. Let's try a different way and see how it looks. So no matter what, we can only get five in a box. As you can see, three, four, five. So I would rather do them laying down and you know, oh yeah, by the way, got my awesome Gary V's on today. It's the new clouds to dirt shoes. Got them on and I'm, and I'm repping them. So I got my shipping stuff set up over here. You'll need some brown paper, boxes, a shipping scale, a tape measure, and labels. And I'm gonna show you the labels part here in a minute, but you can only fit five in a box. So that's gonna suck because we are gonna have eight shit ton of boxes let's get to work so this is my work area ignore the mess it is messy so i use a website called exceller list and what i'm going to do is or not exceller list i used to use it but i switched to inventory lab so now i use inventory lab to process all my fba orders stuff like that you know and so i'm just going to hit a new batch right here and then I got to answer a bunch of questions. Um, it's individual products, FBA. It's going to be a live workflow. I'm going to label all my items and auto box assign and create. So obviously, if I create this, I have to have, boom, the item uh, near me. Because what I'm going to do is scan it with my handy dandy scanner. You can tell these are very large, so. And so I'm gonna scan that puppy. 
Now it's coming in at the lowest is $79.99. I don't care that they're $79. I'm gonna price mine up to $97.99 because these things are selling like hotcakes. And I'm just gonna go through this and then it's gonna print out some labels right here. So I went ahead and accepted the item and now it's, this thing is gonna print all my labels out. I have 30 labels coming out. I'm gonna do six boxes and then I'm probably gonna see how many more I have left and then I'm gonna finish them out um, right after that. So 30 labels, boom, time to get to work. Just on these 30, my net profit with the $12 taken out, this is taken out is $2,121 and I have more to ship. Let's go and make some money. So I just made it back home and now I'm going to show you how I make sets of things. So let's start off with <clears throat> these books. It's a whole box set and I'm going to sell them as a whole box set. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's nothing in the books or anything like that. They have been read, so they have wear, probably going to be acceptable condition just because of the spine has, has a little wear on it. So I'm going to put them back in the, in the in the box right like this, okay? So I'm going to grab, they make two kinds of these. There are sealable ones and non-sealable ones. I have the non-sealable ones. And that's totally fine because I, I'm fine with either or. So I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and I'm going to put these books in the bag. Now this is just like when you sell a set of two or a set of something. This is exactly how you're going to do it, and but I'll show you both ways just because, you know, I want to show you how you can do it both ways, but it's exactly the same. So I'm going to do some clear tape and make sure it's really neat because the Amazon people are picky. <clears throat> so you want to make sure the tape is extremely neat. So what I'm going to do is literally match both ends up just like so. Now a lot of people will say you need a resealer or something like that. You don't need to buy one of those. They're like, you know, a thousand bucks. And if you don't have the money to buy one, don't buy one. Just like this. So now it's sealed. I'm going to put a little bit on the end right here. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Because what I do next is very important as well. I'm just going to put some tape right on the edge and I'll hold it down. It'll hold the flap down and I'll hold <clears throat> it'll hold the flap down and it'll hold the tape down. Then I take this thing right here. I take this thing right here. It's a heat gun and I seal up the edges and as you can see it is going to warm up and it's going to seal the edges up. So check this out. See how it's gonna seal this up? Give me a second here. My cord doesn't reach that far. See that flap right there? And I'm just gonna seal it up where it's not gonna move anymore. And it's gonna be sealed. I'm gonna seal up where the tape is. I'm gonna seal up this flat. It's magic, watch. It'll just literally melt it. And it doesn't melt the books. You, you do got to be careful and, and really pay attention to how much you apply. Because if you apply too much heat, you will melt the books or melt the cover. But now it's nice and sealed up. <clears throat> so here's what I'm going to do after that. So after that, I put one of these stickers on here. And it is a, this is a set, do not separate. So I'm gonna put one of these stickers on here anywhere uh, anywhere I really want to. Just make sure when you do this, I haven't added this to any shipment yet, so I can't cover the barcode. So I'm gonna put one on each side, just like so. And then I have, if you have a poly bag that I believe it's, uh, it's a certain uh, width across, I think it's five inches, uh, but don't quote me on that. Um, I always put, on all poly bags, these do not suffocate labels, and I would put them on the opposite side. So that way the labels are on there. And now all I gotta do is you can see the labels are on. All I have to do is literally 
uh, list it on Amazon, and it prints out a label, and I'll stick it right over the barcode. That's how you do it for books. So now someone asked me, they're like, does food and stuff like that, is it the same thing? Anytime you have a glass bottle, this is a plastic bottle, but anytime you have a glass bottle, Amazon requires you to put it in a plastic bag. Since this is a dressing and it is a plastic bottle that still could spill, I'm going to put it in a plastic bag anyway. But these sell in sets of two. So really what I want to look at is people were asking me, how do I make a set of two? How do I do that? How do, do I just send them all in? No. Here's how, exactly how you do it. So I just use a bigger poly bag and I put one in and I usually just put it in like this, just uh, down on the on the very, very fringe, just lay it down. And then I'm gonna take the poly bag and I'm just going to wrap it around the items. And it's gonna come all the way here and I'm, and I'm gonna put some tape over it. Just like so. So what I wanna do, and also when you're doing food, you gotta make sure the expiration date is the same on both. Be, or you got to send the least one in. So I always make sure the expiration date actually matches because if not, you're going to have some ticked off customers when they get it and the expiration is wrong on one and right on another or it's not what you said. And then here's the next step that I'm going to do. Even though this is a, even though this is a plastic bottle, I'm still going to do this with my heat gun again and it's going to shrink the plastic. And you can tell because it was really, really loose. So, and people are gonna say, is that gonna melt the bottle? It's not gonna melt the bottle if you don't put too much heat on it. The trick is not putting too much heat on it. And I've been doing this a while, so I can tell you that it's, uh, it's definitely a trick. But all you gotta do is just don't put a lot of heat on it and you'll be fine. Now I'm gonna go boom, boom, just like this. And then I'm gonna go down this side one more time. Just real quick, working down the side of it. Get a little bit on the top here, a little bit a little bit better. And then there you have it. It is a set. It looks like it's shrink wrapped. And it is very professional. Nothing's melted, everything's good. Get some of these labels. And you're gonna take one label, boom. Put it right there, I only put one label on these. And it says, do not, it says, this is a set, do not separate. I'm gonna hit the other side up, because I'm gonna take a suffocation label, and I'm gonna put it, boom, right here as a suffocation label. And there you go, you have a set that you're gonna send the FBA that looks professionally shrink wrapped, it looks good, and people will like it. So I guess that's the end of the tutorial. So let's talk a little bit about this and we'll kind of go over some of the other shipping methods that you could do. Okay, what I showed you is to how to successfully send a pair, a set, or uh, multiple quantities of one item in one sale. So what I mean by that is these are selling in twos, these Country Bobs, or Sweet Baby Ray's sauce, they're selling in twos. So I packaged it in, in twos and I'm gonna send it in FBA. This book is a set and I packaged it in a set as one item. So that's how you do that and then you just stick your Amazon sticker on the outside of the bag. So that's what I showed you and honestly it's not that hard but you can get the poly bags on eBay. You can get this um, little heat gun on eBay and just watch out with the heat gun with the books. Uh, if you have it on too long it will melt the illumination or lamination the lamination on the outside of the book cover. So you just gotta be really careful of that and make sure you don't leave it on there a little too long. But this is how you do that and I might I might show you some shipping, uh, some shipping footage. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Make sure that you have that bell notification clicked and you all are awesome, very supportive, and I appreciate it greatly of how amazing everyone is. Have a great night and make that money. Peace out.